So you're thinking about moving to Orange Beach, Alabama? I mean, a lot of people are doing it. Families, single people, investors. investors. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of reasons to move here. The sun, the beaches, the weather, the sand. I mean, it's a wonderful place to live. But listen, Orange Beach, Alabama is not for everyone. And in this video today, we're just gonna tell you just a few of the reasons why you shouldn't move to Orange Beach, Alabama. So let's get to it. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell for notifications so you can be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to learn about, you know, living in Orange Beach, moving to Orange Beach, vacationing to Orange Beach, and all the surrounding areas. My name is Andy Hollis. This is Aileen Fountain. And our entire team, we do these videos every single week just to be informative, just to let you know what it's like to actually live at the beach, you know, the beach life. So listen, whether it's nine days, 90 days, or nine months until you're thinking about making your move, don't hesitate to pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or set up a Zoom call. That's the way we would prefer to talk to you because we like to look at you face to face. We're not scared of you. So anyway, uh, as I mentioned today, we are going to talk about just a few of the reasons as to why you shouldn't move to Orange Beach. The challenges we are finding is a lot of people, you know, once they get here, they find out, well, they can't afford to buy something right on the beach or they actually figure out, you know, just how expensive it is to actually live here. I mean, you know, it can be quite costly. So anyway, we just wanted to make sure that you understood 100% what you were getting into if you decide to make the move to our little slice of paradise. You know, one of the things, one of the main things, Aileen, is, uh, you know, the traffic. I mean, traffic in the summer can be an absolute nightmare. As a local, you will learn, and I'm actually going to do a video on how to be a local and survive the summer in <laughs> yeah. Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. It is, uh, it is tricky. It is challenging. You do have to understand the traffic flow and when it is the heaviest so you can avoid it. Um, it is an absolute nightmare if you have to get out in the traffic during um, peak times and it can, um, it, and then you, and then it's hot too. So you got the traffic and the heat. And one of the worst things in the world is the construction that is constantly going on on Canal Road, which is the main drag coming into Orange Beach. And it seems like every week they are tearing up Canal for some reason. I, I mean, I honestly think the Department of Transportation gets together every morning and they have a meeting and they just decide what part of this canal it is. So. You know. All right, guys, it's Monday morning, Department of Transportation, OBA. Let's figure out what part of Canal Road we're going to tear up today. Please say Dollar General. Please say in front of Dollar General. I'm thinking we haven't torn up right in front of Dollar General just yet. I think we should do that. Yes, in front of Dollar General. You know. When they four lane Canal, it was a huge improvement, much needed improvement. I thought, oh my God. Finally, we four lane canal. We won't have to ever worry about canal construction again. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. Yeah. There is still construction on Canal Road today, and it will be tomorrow and all summer long. And it seems like they, they want to do it right in the middle of summer, which makes no sense to me. No but, sense. So, yeah, traffic can be an absolute nightmare. Um, the other thing is to go, you know, it can, it can cost quite a bit to go out to the restaurants and eat. I mean, you know, for two people, if you were to go out and, and have dinner at one of the restaurants, first off, if you don't go at the right times, it's going to be a nightmare to get into. You can't even get into the restaurant. I mean, you're a three, three or four hour away. away. It's, yeah. it's ridiculous. But two people going out to eat at one of the local restaurants, and you're looking at an $80 bill without drinks. Right. You, you add in drinks, you're probably looking at well over $100. Drinks, and, tip, tax. Yep. And if you bring kids, if you've got, you know, a, a mom, dad, and say three or four kids, then oh my god wow that that bill could be you know two or three hundred bucks That's so right it's very it, it can be very expensive now you we did a video, a video beaching on a budget so you could check that video check out check that video can, out to save a little bit of money on the restaurants because it is it is costly to go out to eat in orange beach gulf shores area absolutely so that goes right into the cost of living you know um i mean you know listen the median house price is like 350 grand according to neats.com but um, that's not on the beach. No. You know, that, that is nowhere near on the beach. I mean, a house on the beach could cost, it is very, very, very expensive to buy a house right on the beach. And I question that number too, um, because of the, the 
rapid increase we've seen across the country in real estate, um, you can absolutely get a good place in Orange Beach uh, in the 350 range. It's, it's probably not going to be a single family home and it is definitely not going to be on the beach. So you do have to set your expectations right as far as what you can get and at what price point um, in Orange Beach. Orange Beach is um, as far as our area, Gulf Shores, Foley, Orange Beach, Orange Beach is going to be the costliest place to buy in price per square foot. Yeah, and you know, we just did a video on uh, Spyglass, which is like mm -hmm. 360 grand or something like that. Very extremely nice place to live. Yep. So, but it's not on the beach. Not you know? on the beach, so. and it's not a single family home. They're townhomes. Uh, they're actually condos, but they, they definitely have the feel of a townhome. Um, but yeah, you can get in there for an average of 350 and they're three bedrooms, two and a half baths, uh, like 1500 square feet. So it can be so, affordable. Yeah, absolutely. It can be affordable. But I think, um, I looked up a website called bestplaces.net. It basically tells you the best places to live and it gives you like, you know, different stats on all that. And I think, uh, on there it said that Orange Beach's, uh, cost of living is like 9.7%, you know, higher than, you know, like it's above average so it's 9.7 yeah. percent above average but anyway that's uh so the cost of living can be kind of high and you know the thing the other thing is um the job market i mean we have a really low unemployment rate that's like 2.9 percent i think that the the state i mean the uh national average is like six percent right. but you have to consider the fact that we only have about eight thousand local residents who live here full time so you know, when you when you take that into consideration, it's not, you know, that's not such an impressive number. Right. And if you do have a job and say, I mean, unless you want to work in the service industry, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. We absolutely love our people that work here in the service mm -hmm. industry. But if you don't want to work in the service industry, then you got to drive Jobs to probably Mobile. You got to drive an hour away to Mobile. You got to drive 45 minutes to Pensacola. You know, so, I mean, there are some big cities that are closer to us, you know, and then you could still enjoy the beach, live here and, and work there. And I've so. known a number of people over the years that um, do actually live in Orange Beach and drive to Pensacola. I have uh, some friends and the husband works in Mobile and the wife worked in Pensacola and they love being in Orange Beach and one went one way and one went the other to go to work. Um, yeah. But it, so people do do it. Um, but yeah, we do have limited... Uh, year-round um, job opportunities here like Andy said if you're not in the service industry and the, and the problem with being in the service industry is that you know we have an influx in the summertime so you're gonna be you know make tons of money in the summertime but in the off season you can really struggle so either a you've got to be in an end you've got to have a type of service that can make it in the off season or B you've got to be really good at managing your money to make it through the off season. Um, I will say the, the big pro is that our off season is nothing like it used to be. It used to be, we died in the off season. We really don't have like a big off season anymore because so many people do come in. Right. Fall break, uh, then you've got the snowbirds coming in in the winter. So that part has lessened with time, but it is still something that is a factor that has to be considered because our population does drop down dramatically um, after the summer months. And of course, the summer is just everywhere is slammed and business is plentiful. Yeah, that's what she's talking about is that we have a seasonal economy and it's, you know, basically we depend it's all on the tourism. tourism. I mean, yeah. we absolutely do. So, yeah, that's one thing to take into consideration. Um, another um, thing, reason that you wouldn't want to move here is the weather. I mean, I love the weather. I mean, I tr I mean, I to me, the hotter the better. I, I don't <laughs> care when it gets 100 degrees. I just can't stand the cold. If it gets below 60 degrees, it's time for me to head further south. But... <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, it can get hot here, and I mean hot, 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 hot. It's so, you know, you're talking in the end of July, mid-July, somewhere around there in August, it can easily reach 100 degrees. Um, but now, we don't, it doesn't happen that often. I mean, we, we usually have pretty mild temperatures. Um, mild temperatures with the exception of the heat of the summer, as Andy was mentioning. And my tolerance for the heat has gone down as I have gotten <laughs> older. I uh, still don't like cold. Uh, anything below 55 is unacceptable to me. But I also now have become sensitive to the extreme heat. 
and it is hot, hot, hot. I will tell you, if you're on the water, if you're on the beach, if you're staying directly on the Gulf, you can get that summer breeze off the water, which does make it very um, manageable. But if you're talking about noon out on the beach with no breeze, um, you better be in the water because yeah. uh, you could <laughs> yeah. have a heat stroke. So oh, the, the, the extreme heat um, basically from mid-June through you know mid-September is definitely a factor to consider if you're going to move down here. Yep. And one of the other things, if you're moving from, you know, someplace like, say, California, where it has perfect weather and everything's supposed to be perfect and yada, 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 you know, which, you know, we mentioned our cost of living. Our cost of living is still way less in California. So, anyway. And pretty much all the other <laughs> big places, Texas, uh, Florida, right. uh, anywhere in the Northeast. Yeah, and our property taxes are probably some of the lowest in the I think they're the, the second country. lowest in the country. We yeah. pride ourselves on low property taxes, and that is a, a big thing that sets us apart from a lot of other states that are bringing an influx of people in because of their, their, you know, in the Sun Belt, basically. So we, we have a huge advantage over Florida because of our but property taxes. If you're gonna move here and work, there's one thing you need to know, we do have state income tax. So, you know, where some of these other states that have high property taxes, they don't have state income tax. Well, Texas, we have Tennessee, state income tax. and Florida um, don't have the state income tax, but they do have very high property taxes. So they do offset, in my yeah. opinion. Um, so if you're an investor and you're strictly looking at the numbers, you're not going to live here. You definitely want to consider our Gulf Coast over uh, Florida or somewhere else because of that reason. Yep. Another reason you might want to consider not moving here is our bugs. We have bugs. We, I mean, it gets hot here. The mosquitoes can be terrible. Not not on the beach. Yeah. Not so much if on the you're beach. on the water, you're not going to deal with the bug issue because of that breeze. But if you are off the water you um you're gonna have to deal with mosquitoes and other bugs and it, it it can be a little pesky um we do both gulf shores and orange beach have mosquito trucks that come through yeah they spray absolutely them good. keeps that down so it is minimized thank god because it, <laughs> yeah. it it would be really bad but you do it is something that you've got to deal with and we also have those little yellow biting flies i don't know if they even have those anywhere else in the country but we have them here and they are Horrible. I've I mean, only horrible. ever noticed them on West Beach. Oh, God. I've noticed them everywhere. Everywhere but the beach. You know, if you go to the beach, you don't really have to worry about bugs. Number one, there's always a constant breeze, pretty much. So, it really kind of keeps them away. So, but, yeah. But, listen, I mean, I, I think that's going to about do it for all of our reasons why you shouldn't move here. But with that being said, I mean, anywhere you move in the country, you're going to find negative things. I mean, the, the main thing for you to do is to do all of your research and make sure that the area is gonna fit what, what's best for you and your family. The best way to do that is to give us a call. I mean, we, we love helping people just like you make a smooth move here, and we will absolutely help you. We love helping people. And so. we're gonna be honest with you about the cons. Um, no place is perfect, as Andy mentioned. Uh, there's gonna be cons. And so that's why we wanna just do this video and be right out up front with you guys on you know some things to consider and why you might not wanna move here. Absolutely. But if you do choose to move here, then absolutely give us a call. If you just wanna research everything, let us know. We'd love to help you. Absolutely. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring that little bell. That way you can be the first, one of the first ones to learn everything there is to learn about the beach life. Be sure and watch some of our other videos. And until next time. We'll see you around town. Hope to see you around town.